This is a video response to Mr. Suspicious. This is something that I have been, in a sense, leaving out of astrotometry because it requires an understanding of the relationship between the orbital inconsistency and sunspots. And so I pointed out several times that the incoming sun grazing comets are associated with these orbital inconsistencies that show up on the sun in the form of these active regions and sunspots. But to understand the relationship between the planets and those objects requires an understanding of, of the overall hypersymmetry of the solar system. In other words, there is a sort of synchronicity, a sort of inherent synchronicity in the arrival of the comets and the orbits of the planets. And the missing component in all of the sources that I'm aware of currently is the nature of the orbital inconsistency as it relates to these spots. These magnetic loops that we see emanating from these sunspots. These loops in astrotometry, in my view, are understood to be the inconsistencies in the orbits of the planets of which they are reflections. And so the missing piece, the part of this that, that is missing from all of the sources that I'm aware, is the integration of the differential in the dimensional analysis. In other words, there's a, a difference in the movement with respect to the Cartesian plane in which the planet's orbit that is directly correlated, directly uh, observable as these magnetic loops. And the reason that I avoid this in astrotometry presently is because there is a very difficult challenge in presenting this in a way that it can be understood properly. And while, Mr. Suspicious, you and I agree that this information is incredibly vital, I disagree with you about your approach to this problem. I think that it is very important that we have a system that properly explains it, that properly sorts out the nature of the cause and effect as a very real phenomenon in the solar system. In astrotometry, these solar influences are not understood to be the cause of the earthquake. They're a coincident symptom of the cause. So they're an indicator. They're correlated with the earthquakes. They don't cause the earthquakes. The planetary alignments do not cause the sunspots. The inconsistencies in the orbits are hypersymmetric with the appearance of the sunspots. And there's another factor. The tempor the consistency of the space itself that 
we would be thinking of the earth as moving through that in a sense determines the permeability of the space and these other sources that you're pointing to um, as far as I can tell I haven't read all of these books but the system that DC Symbols is using, the system that Patrick Gerald is using, these systems are three-dimensional systems. They haven't realized yet, or they haven't integrated into their understanding the fact that what we actually see in the third dimension beyond the Earth's orbit is a complicated illusion. DC Symbols hasn't figured out yet that Newton was wrong about planetary gravity. This is a big problem. This is a huge problem. As it relates to the nature of how vital this is. Now, I posted a video that invokes a treatise on cosmic fire by Alice Bailey. And that understanding is very old. You're right, it's ancient. So we shouldn't be fighting, but we have to come up with a proper system. And these people who are attached, who are invested in the fraud, in the space fraud, are going to destroy our world. They're going to ruin our chances of being able to cope with the reality of this situation if they're not stopped. Now they can fake their Mars probes, they can fake, fake their moon landings, they can fake all of this bullshit. You know, this is the way that they fight over it. You don't see the intensity of, of the fight that's going on around you. You don't realize just how deep you're into this without even realizing it. And I'm warning you, what you're doing is very, very key. And we have to have a system. We have to have a model that is better than the three-dimensional model that is being forced down the throats of our society by the likes of NASA and the people who would be using uh, gravitational systems that are completely fiction. In reality, Newton was wrong about the nature of planetary gravity. The Copernican model is wrong. I've proved that to any scientific mind that is willing to take a look at the information. And so we need a system. It's important. It's vital. In order to be able to understand when these events are coming and how they move through time space and how we move with them vital. Promoting these three-dimensional systems that perpetuate these myths about the three-dimensional nature of the solar system, you are not helping at all. And I appreciate that you're so interested in this and that you see how important it is. So don't screw this up.